All right, which one of these fractions is larger, 1 sixth or 3 eighths? Well, you could just take one, divide it by six on your calculator, get a decimal, divide three by eight, get a decimal, and compare the decimals. That would tell you if one six is greater than, equal to, or less than three eighths. The other way is finding a common denominator, something that six and eight both go into. Six times four, that's 24. Then eight times three, that's also 24. That would give us the same denominator. I could have multiplied 6 by 8 to get 48, and then 8 by 6 to get 48. That would work too. Since I multiplied the denominator by 3 here, I do need to multiply the numerator by 3. Because 3 over 3, it's just 1. So I'm multiplying by 1. I don't change the value, just the way it's written. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 24 that's the same thing as 3 eighths. They're equivalent fractions. Up here, multiply by 4, we get 4 24 and now we have the same denominators. We can compare the numerators, figure out whether 1 6 is greater than, less than, or equal to 3 8 Let's do that. So 9, that's greater than 4. That means 9 24 is greater than 4 24 And since these are the same and these are the same, we can say that 3 8 that's greater than 1 6 That's how you do it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.